Gotta look for the to oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell is that? Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? It's spooky season and I'm trying to do all things spooky this year or whatever. If you live in the Long Island area and you're looking for a haunted house, this year I found something actually really cool. There was like a scavenger hunt going on. So you get these different videos, right? It's only $10 and $10 gets donated to this organization. Every location that you get to, you're going to scan a QR code. What that QR code does is it gives you an extra ticket for a raffle that's going on. All proceeds go to the cause. Also, it gives you access to your next clue. So we are on our way. This is definitely something different. I've never done like a haunted scavenger hunt before. I'm pretty excited to do this. I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, a bitch, what the fuck are you doing going by yourself on the scavenger hunt? I know. I just arrived to the first location and I don't know why. I don't know why I came here by myself. But I'm here, bitch. I have to go to the Floyd Jones section of the cemetery. And from there, I have to look for a red tombstone, Thomas Jones. Gotta look for the, t oh, what the fuck was that? Nah, beach. Am I starting to regret this? Yeah. Did I live a good life? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I found the Floyd Jones section. I swear to God, if something, I don't know why I came by myself. Like, I don't get scared easily. This is pretty fucking creepy. I'm like in the middle of a cemetery by myself. And like, I can't see anything in front of me because of the light that I'm using. So yeah, let me turn this around. Yeah, bitch, I got it. I got it. That was fucking hard because you can't even see any letters on it, but it's red. And you can't really see well, but it does say Major Thomas Jones. All right, I wanna share a little bit of information about this story because this motherfucker was crazy. Major Thomas Jones was a pirate back in the mid 18th century and when he came, he settled in Massapequa as an immigrant from Ireland. Now when he came, he had a bunch of stuff on him. He had jewels, rubies, gold trinkets, stuff that a lot of other pirates obviously wanted. In fears that people would come and try and steal what he had, he buried that treasure in the southern banks of Long Island. I also read that he killed a little boy in hopes that the little boy's spirit would guard the treasure that he buried. When he died, other pirates in search for his treasure thought that the treasure would be buried with him. However, when they dug up his body, literally all they found was his skull. Other body parts were missing, the jewels were gone. To this day, no one knows where his body is. It's literally just his skull. Fun fact, if you live on Long Island, this is actually who Jones Beach is named after. If you don't live on Long Island, you don't know about Jones Beach, it is the nastiest fu No, I'm kidding. It's just, I would say it's one of the more popular beaches on Long Island in the Nassau area. So yeah, Mr. Jones's head is under me and I don't know why I'm still with the fuck. I don't know why I'm still here. All right, I got the first clue. So I'm about to be on my way to pick up some friends to get the second clue. Let's go. Oh, hey, beach. <laughs> special guests in the fucking building in the building all right we're gonna do some spooky shit did you look at the video yet which one the second one no it says for me to log in oh, fuck i gotta log in all right we'll be back <laughs> you bitches think you got daddy issues wait till you hear this next story Emily A. Dowd. At the age of 24, she fell in love with the guy and they planned on running away together. Now her father, in hearing what she wanted to do, he took it as this guy was stealing his daughter away from him. Emily's father did not like the guy so much that he actually killed him. He bashed this guy's head in with a hammer, completely demolishing his skull. In spite of her father for killing the man that she loved, the bitch drank some poison cold at night. I don't know other way to put it. She killed herself. Alrighty. Going to a graveyard, guys. For the second time. He's got the walks. I just I'm, I'm passing it, aren't I? I'm, I'm passing it. Wait, wait, is it this yep. dark I'm shit? It's this. Yep. Oh, there's people there. There's people here? Yeah, look. 
Can I go in here? Holy oh. fuck! Oh my god. This is, uh... Bro, this is scary. <sighs> what the fuck? Alright, and there's another car here. Yeah, there's people. Look, oh, they're probably looking for... They gotta be looking for the same thing. Alright, we're at the second location. We gotta find a tombstone. Emily? Right? Yeah. Emily? Okay. There's other Emily. people here. But we should let them... We'll let them pass first. We'll let them pass yes, first. because... Oh. While we're just here. They're haunting. See, I can't see... I can't even see where I'm going. Okay, let's go. No. This is pretty fucked, I'm not gonna lie. That's it? No, that's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. That is? Emily A. Age 25. Did we find it? So then we gotta find the QR code now. Oh, guys, I found it! I found it! We found the second QR code. Now we're just pretty much exploring the place. What the hell is that? Oh, it just says bed paste on the very block. Grieve not nor speak of me with tears, but laugh and talk of me as though I were beside you. I loved you so, twas heaven here with you. Oh! And we are live! Alright, where are we going? Alright, where are we going? I got 41 in. Right, where are we going? No, I mean, oh. going. we're going to Sweet Hollow Road, guys. We're going to. Oh, I'm going, right? I'm going to Coin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Coin. We're going to Sweet Hollow Road. Sweet motherfucking Hollow Road. If you are from Long Island, if you've never been to Sweet Hollow Road, never heard of Sweet Hollow Road, are you really from Long Island? There's so many rumors that go on about this place. First one was that there was a bus full of kids. I'm gonna just let Linda explain it. Now, what do they say about this place? Okay, so there's three stories towards it. There's one where there was a bus full of kids. They were driving on the overpass from Northern State Parkway one day and the driver lost control and everybody died inside. Everybody wow. died. Yeah. Said, so what they say is that if you go under the overpass and you put your car in neutral, the spirits of the children are pushing your car. That is theory one. Meanwhile, your car is just in fucking neutral and the ground is probably not level. So, so your car's just all so the skeptics say. But it's the kids pushing you. So the skeptics say. And then the third one is the police officer. It is also said to be home to a police officer who was shot and killed. His ghost still patrols the street and will pull motorists over from time to time. But after letting them go, he turns about to return to his car only to have his head blown off by a shotgun. Alright, so we out. Wait, so are they actually so, it's only one way to find out, Jasmine. Google. <laughs> I'm shitting bricks, low key. If I don't make it home, guys, I love you, mom. I picked up some more stragglers. <laughs> Where are we going, guys? <sighs> to get killed. Woo! There's four ghosts in your house. How? Did you contact them? <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Did you contact them? <laughs> All right. So I kind of fucked up because, well, I didn't fuck up, but the site that we're using is really weird fucked because <laughs> I didn't fuck up. So the site that we're using is really weird because once you find the code and you log in, it takes you to the next clue. But when you get out of Safari and you go back in, it brings you to the it brings you to the previous clue. So my phone right now is fucking stuck on number two when we're going to number three. She definitely fucked up. So <laughs> I don't know where the QR code is going to be. I don't know if it's gonna be in the cemetery, which is huge, or if it's gonna be in what's that name again? The uh, the what's that name again? With the boys? Overpass. Overpass. I don't know if it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be in the overpass. I don't know, but we will just need to find out. All right, so we're at. Oh my what? God! What was that? That? I don't know. I think it was like a, a, a twig or something, like a branch. <laughs> All right, so we're at location number three. We're under the underpass, like a bunch of white people in a scary movie. We're here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, you fucking scared the shit out of us. Uh, you got that? Something okay. fell on the windshield. You heard, heard that? Yeah. Something fell. We'll go back in the car because it's just kind of scary. Okay. It's if you leave the car in, in neutral, then the car obviously starts going. There's a car coming this way. All right. Um, I'm going to get out and scan the code. All right. Have fun. All right. Oh my God! You see? What the fuck is that? I don't even want to scan this code now. <laughs> no, something fell. What the fuck? All right. I'm gonna, am I scanning this code? All right. I'm going to scan this code real quick. Stuff keeps 
your car's on neutral. Stuff keeps falling on my car. All right, we're here under the underpass. Fuck this place. I found the code, it's right there. Cemetery is over there, like down the road to the left. But this is where everything happened. And yeah, I'm gonna scan this code. We were done after that one. That was the last one that we did, but there's 11 in total. We only did three. I really had a good time making this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment what you liked, what you didn't like. Also, if you could please comment on future videos that you would like me to create, content that you guys would like to see. I would love to see your guys' suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe, that way you guys can stay updated with videos that I put out. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon.